In the previous examples of lateral movement, we used tools like PSXEC and PowerShell to execute the traversing from the compromised machine into the other target one. But that doesn't always have to be the case. Here we're going to show how we are going to be doing lateral movement using a Windows feature called Share Folder. We are not using any uh, sysinternal tool for this attack. So we're going to start by uh, doing the step one and two in once. Uh, we have shown in previous videos how we can log in as a regular machine and escalate privilege in to make the video shorter I, I'm just going to run the malform file as an admin and I know the passwords uh, and I show that on the Mimikatz video how I install the password of these uh, two machines. Uh, what I'm going to do then uh, is uh, uh, these two machines are logged in as the IE uh, user and I'm going to be creating a share folder on this machine on the network that anyone can access. Next, I'm going to upload the mylove2.exe, the malform file, into the share folder. And by the way, this share folder is hidden. It's, it's uh, created with the dollar sign at the end, so it's not uh, easy visible. And then I'm going to create a share task for every one of the target machine. And I showed in a previous video how I do net space view and I look at the what's on the network and decide which I want to uh, take next. Then all I have to do is run that scheduled task and you will see how in Kali I will get those two additional sessions and those machines are mine. And most importantly, we show how QReader will be detecting all those things. So here we have in our QReader system only uh, show me events associated with an offense and we have cleared all the offenses so we are starting uh, clean as a whistle here. So let's start by compromising the first machine. So we have our Kali ready and we're going to launch the malform file running as an admin and that should give us our first session in Kali. And here it is. We'll see it here. So we hit enter and we are going to go into that session that we just created interactively. So session one, interactively, oops, it's sessions. So we are there. We're going to go into the root of that machine. We're going to create a, a directory called share. And there it is. We're going to move there. And we're going to upload the malform file. Now it's in that share folder. We're going to go into the machine, not from the interpreter, so we are going to request a shell. So we are in that machine. It's actually this is Windows, so let's, we are in the shared directory. And we are going to actually execute the commands in here. The first command that we're going to actually execute is to create the share folder. And the, the, this file is actually on the box uh, link whose uh, address is in the video description. So let's create the share and that share is successful. Now we're going to create the two share tasks. Let's start with this one. And that works okay. That task has been actually uh, created. Let's actually create it for the other target machine. Uh, 205. We can paste that in here and that should create us the second schedule task. That's okay. So both are, are created in there. Now all we need to do is actually run that schedule task. Let's actually Paste the run the the command to run the schedule task, 
and that should give us the session. Here's one of the session. Here's the other one. Machines have been compromised. Put curator. Let's see what curator detected with the rules that Mutas uh, created in the Sysmon content pack. A well, couple of things in here. So we see that a process has been launched from a shared folder. That's something that you may want to actually be aware of, uh, that a network share has been uh, added and that a, and we see more events actually coming, a hidden network share has been added as well. That's suspicious. Why would you want to share a file uh, hidden? So these rules actually uh, detect that. And this is actually a very nice one. This detected scheduled type of a multiple host. So it's detecting the fact that the same program is running on all these machines. That is actually pretty suspicious. So if you have an attacker doing any of these things, Curator is actually going to detect it if you install the uh, the content pack. And we see here the offenses that correspond to what we just did. Again, attacks using your standard Windows features. Nothing special here. What you used to make special is getting Curator with the Sysmon content pack. Uh, and of course, Sysmon enabled on all these uh, Windows machine to send the information that allows Curator to correlate all these uh, actions and warn you about it.